Now we go a little bit more community based here. Something that's happening locally here. Uh, good friend of mine and a guy who's a, a visionary, John Davis, is going to join us now here. He's the owner operator of the International Soccer Development Center in Alvin, Texas. John, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks for having me. And let me remind listeners as well, John, former professional soccer player, played at Glasgow Rangers, played in the Scottish Premier League, and also in England. Uh, This is a project, John, that uh, is a very uh, community-based project. It's being done in the city of Alvin. Um, You are an incredible visionary on this. You've got 11 fields. You're going to build a hotel, a restaurant, a welcome center, a 10,000-seat showcase stadium. How did this idea begin? Uh, And tell me what stage you're at in developing uh, this huge soccer property and complex. Yeah, Glenn, this is this has not been something that's been overnight. I, I tried to do this about 14, 15 years ago in, in Denver, Colorado. You know, so this is a vision I've had for a long, long time, and now it's obviously coming to fruition. Uh, we've started, uh, we broke ground about six months ago. We're doing all the infrastructure, putting all the pipelines and all the, the, the electricity lines into the facility. And we're, we're hoping by April that the, the first phase will be, will be done. John Davis joining us here on uh, ESPN 97.5. This is Soccer Matters. Uh, the first phase includes, uh, what, 11 fields, John? Yes, 11 soccer fields, uh, all the parking areas, the retention pond, uh, which is which is phase one. And then phase two, we'll move on to the the, the rest of the soccer fields. There's five half fields uh, and the rest of the parking. And then phase three will be the hotel and the, and the stadium. And, and that's the way it's a sort of project over a, a three- to a five-year uh, time period, Glenn. And tell me a little bit about the end game here, because because in the title, uh, the the name of this facility is the International Soccer Development Center, and I know you're very very into developing and accelerating player development here with young players in Houston. Yeah, I, I've been in the country about four years now, and I've, I've always looked at the talent here, and there's there's an exceptional amount of talent here, and I just believe that the, the what I've done over the years with my contacts in Europe. I would love to try and give kids more more chances to play in Europe. And, and that's probably my last vision of this facility, is not only helping kids to become better soccer players, but to give them opportunities to, to one day maybe have the, the, the chance that I had to play, play in Europe. John Davis joining us here. Uh, the visionary, the owner, the operator of the International Soccer Development Center in Alvin, Texas. Uh, you've already got uh, lined up the Pepsi International Soccer Cup July 19th through 28th. Uh, it is a tournament under 11 to under 20. You've got teams from all over the world coming in. Birmingham City, Swansea, West Ham, AZ Alkmaar from Holland. That's where Josie Altador plays. Uh, City Nacional from Portugal. Tigres and Monterey from Mexico. Uh, South American teams, top U.S. teams. Uh, so you're jumping into it right away with this international tournament. Give us a little bit more details on it and, and, and what you're trying to achieve with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tournament that obviously I looked at Houston many, many years ago. And, you know, you go to San Diego in the Surf Cup, you go to uh, Dallas, the Dallas Cup, you can go to Florida, you know, the Disney Showcase. And I just felt there was a, a little niche here in, in Houston. There's never been an international soccer tournament in Houston. And, and as you say, Glenn, I've got, I've got all these top teams that are, that are coming over, you know, the, the, the great names in soccer of West Ham and, and Swansea. And then you go to, you know, Club Bolivia. Tigres, Monterrey, Riados, and you go to all these teams, and it's only going to be brilliant for the community, for the for the city of Alvin, and, and for the whole of soccer that wants to come out and see another wonderful tournament. You know, we want to be as good as the, as, as the Dallas Cup, and we want to try and, you know, match these type of tournaments, and I believe that's what I'm trying to do in regards to this, this facility. It's a facility that, uh, obviously, the city of Alvin has gotten behind, right, John? The, the city of Alvin have been, have been wonderful with me. They're, they've seen the vision that I've got. They, they see the amount of people that, that we're hoping to try and bring over the year, you know, between 100 to, to 200,000 people coming through this facility. So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of businesses benefit from it, Glenn, including hotels, you know, restaurants, and, so, and, and obviously a lot of taxis coming to the city of Alvin. So they, they've been wonderful. Not a lot of job creation as well, and it... Uh... Fits in nicely with uh, the Dynamo opening up the Houston Amateur Sports Park uh, on 288. So uh, uh, another incredible soccer facility. And I think, as we all know, John, and you, and you probably know this from your research and doing this facility, that we, we did have a, quite a shortage of soccer fields in this city based on the amount of people playing the game. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Glenn. There's, there's not enough. You go to Dallas and, and other places, Austin, they, they do have good facilities. I just believe we're, we're a little bit behind in Houston at the moment. And, and obviously, you mentioned that, you know, having the, 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 the Houston Amateur Park over there in, in the, where, where Houston Dynamo training. You know, this is going to obviously be up there with that one. And, and we're not trying to match against each other. I think it's the both of them are going to be excellent for, for soccer in, in Houston. John Davis also is a player agent. You are Jeff Cameron's agent. So, uh, you know, I know, John, that many of the, the listeners are probably very interested in your take on Jeff's transition over to the English Premier League. It is a big jump from Major League Soccer uh, to the EPL, and, and it's one that he's uh, made because uh, he's been a starter from the word go over there. Yeah, Glenn, it's, it's been a wonderful move for Jeff. You know, obviously had a wonderful time at Houston Dynamo. You know, he stepped into the EPL in England. You know, a lot of people have thought maybe four months, six months in, he would have maybe played a few games. But as you say, Glenn, he missed the first game of the season and he's played every other game apart from one game which he was suspended in. So, I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful transition for for, for uh, Jeff. You know, he's played right full-back, he's played left full-back, he's played centre midfield, and, and obviously he plays centre-back in the national team. So, I mean, what a, what a wonderful transition for Jeff Cameron. Now, you as his agent, is there some concern, though, with his transition back to the national team as a centre-back? i got to think that's got to be a bit of a concern with Jurgen Klinsmann. Uh, you know, you're playing as a right-back, you're playing as a left-back. At some point, players do like stability and consistency. Yeah, I think it's a very good point from you, Glenn. You know, people do like stability. And, and obviously, the only good thing about it, he is playing against the top players in the world in the EPL so he is still defending against them in right full back areas, left full back areas. You know, I don't really see a big problem for him. He's such an adaptable player that, that I think he can cope with it very, very well. John, I want to I want to lean you in a different direction here now because uh, of uh, of your job as an agent. And when I look at some of the players in Europe and and I look at guys making just incredible amounts of money, and in, in some cases to me they look like very average players. Um, have they just hit the holy grail of the mother load of, uh, of the timing of where they're at in the game right now? Or, uh, and is it difficult uh, sometimes to deal with players that maybe haven't achieved a whole lot yet are incredibly wealthy? Yeah, it's probably the, the biggest problem in the game. Glenn. Listen, no, nobody ever says that a good player doesn't, shouldn't have, earn the money that's entailed to you. But you're, you're right with you're saying. I think some players out there, it shouldn't be at that level yet. I mean, you've got to work hard. You've got to learn your trade the, the way the, the good players did. You know, it took them three, four, five years to go into a very, very good wage. But what they did is they learned their trade first. And I don't think there's enough players that are actually learning the trade before they're entitled to earn this big money. You know, listen, if clubs are going to pay, of course the players the players are going to accept that. But still, I think you've got to earn the right to earn that type of money. John Davis, he's the owner-operator, the visionary of the International Soccer Development Center in Alvin. He is also a player agent. He's a former professional soccer player, played with Glasgow Rangers, uh, Motherwell, uh, long, uh, distinguished career. Uh, John, before we go, uh, just a reminder to people, if you want to learn more about the International Soccer Development Center, it's isdcenter.com, isdcenter.com. You can find out information also if you're, affiliated with a local youth team, and you want to get in the Pepsi International Soccer Cup July 19th through 28th. Anything else, John? No, as, as you, you, you said, it's, it's going to be a wonderful tournament. You know, and we're hoping that the, the people in Houston will go back the tournament and come out and enjoy you know, these teams that are coming out to play in the tournament, the West Hams, the Swansea, the Birminghams, and the Monterey's and Tigres. So it is going to be a wonderful tournament for everybody involved here. He's John Davis. It's isdcenter.com. John, thank you very much for coming on the show, and uh, good luck with your project. Thank you very much, Glenn. All right, that's John Davis. Uh, It's good for the soccer community, I can tell you that. It's about time we put together a huge international tournament and made people come to us.